several of Tyndall's classic works of criticism, including A Reader's Guide to James Joyce and A Reader's Guide to Finnegan's Wake are still in print. He wrote a total of 13 books on UK and Irish authors including Joyce, Dylan Thomas, William Butler Yeats, and Samuel Beckett. Born in Vermont, he studied at Columbia, both as an undergraduate and graduate student. By chance, he bought it on June 16, Bloomsday, the day in which all the events in the book take place. That began Professor Tyndall's study of and advocacy for Joyce's works in America, in fact, he started teaching Ulysses even before the book was allowed in the U.S. Therefore, students in his first Ulysses course were forced to read the Dean's copy kept secured in the university library. Finally in 1933, the United States District Court in New York City ruled that the novel was not obscene and could be published in America. In January, 1934 Ulysses was finally available legally in the U.S. and no one had to rely on the library copy anymore. For four decades, he taught some of the most popular literary criticism courses in the curriculum. He pioneered a method of reading Joyce's most difficult novel Finnegan's Wake with a small group of graduate students, everyone adding a bit of their academic knowledge to the task. He called this reading by committee, saying that the group brought to it a variety of languages and learning, and might do more with the book than I alone, with small learning and less Greek. <laughs>